Hey everybody, this month I want to address a question I get all the time. People getting into present designer and no red, particularly if you come from disciplines like electrical engineering or others where you have you're familiar with um, flow graphs and uh, graphical uh, diagrams where you have a hierarchy and particularly in electrical engineer where you can have uh, hierarchies which have multiple inputs and multiple outputs. The latter multiple outputs is supported by no red, but the former uh, is not. So any subflow in no red or present designer has one input. So uh, here's a quick one way of doing this. And uh, by the way, I'm not passing judgment into whether the one input is the right or wrong answer. This is kind of like BIM or Emacs. It's um, a question that shall remain an answer for the ages. Um, but we can deal with it. Uh, at least one way of dealing it is the following. So you have multiple um, paths you want to send to uh, one subflow, but differentiate between them. So in this case, the paths are, uh, in this example, schematically represented by these three inject nodes, one, two, and three. And each of these has uh, just a number that corresponds, the payload is a number that corresponds to the input. So input one has a payload of one, input two has a payload of two, and as you can see, input three has a payload of three. So to differentiate the path, we were gonna add a message property, in this case, underscore input, and this name can be anything, but of course, um, try to make it as uh, unique and unobtrusive, unobtrusive as possible so that um, it doesn't have a name collision with anything else on the message. Uh, and yeah, this property would have the input number uh, that we want to use. In this case, uh, I'm just going to uh, assign them sequentially. Uh, so input one will have a message underscore input property of a value of one and two for input two and three for input three. And then you go into the subflow, which we're trying to simulate uh, three inputs. Uh, and this subflow has uh, the first thing that uh, the input sees is this, what I call the input splitter, where you sort of undo what you just uh, did on the, um, uh, on the high level up. So you have a switch node, which is uh, split in inputs, uh, based on the uh, underscore input property. So here you go from one, you find out from one to three. And then the other thing that uh, you might consider doing is deleting this message or input property um, so that it doesn't um, interfere with anything, anything else. And if you employ this trick into other subflows within the subflow uh, and you forget to label the input, then you're into trouble. So um, these um, delete uh, property nodes are uh, included in this subflow. And of course, you once you have the splitter, um, you can just copy and paste it, so it's pretty quick to use. And just to show that obviously this works, um, they just each input has a square uh, function node so that it would just square whatever the payload is. And so uh, when we go here, you can see that input one, the square one is of course one, and uh, I'm just uh, displaying the whole message to show that the underscore input property has been deleted. So input two, the square is four, and input three, the square is nine. So this is one way to address uh, the issue of having only one input on the subflows. Of course, there are many other ways of doing it, but uh, once you have this splitter uh, here, you can just copy and paste it um, as many times as you want, and then it's a pretty quick and uh, easy way to deal with um, this property of uh, no red and pressing the signer. Hope this helps. Till next time.